Lexus IS250. It's been sitting in my backyard since coronavirus. I started up here and there, test driving here and there. My issue is that one, the key needs to be recharged. And now as you can see, we got other Christmas lights here. And I believe that's because I have a chipmunk and I have seen a chipmunk running underneath my car so I believe that I have a chipmunk in my car eating wires of those wires being my ABS wire so what I'm going to do is but what I want to do is I want to take it out for a ride and take it to a car wash I heard some nibbling going on underneath here so it sounds like it's it's definitely under the vehicle, uh, maybe up in some sort of a layer. I take my car to a car wash and pretty much spray up underneath, you know, the car wash that actually sprays up. Get that to spray up and possibly see if I can scare that chipmunk away. If I can't get it out, so what I'm gonna do is take some mothballs and put the mothballs in the engine bay, put it in the trunk, uh, put it underneath the vehicle, like kind of in the bumper. I wanted to create a harsh smell that the chipmunk is just like, look, I gotta get out of here. This is the Lexus IS250. Um, and we're going to try to figure out how to get this annoying chipmunk out my vehicle. I call it annoying because I've always had issues with squirrels. Um, previously, when I first moved into my house, I had squirrels. Um, basically caused roof damage to the front and to the rear of my house um so yeah that's what we're going to get into if the mothballs doesn't work then we're going to have to take a step further and set up a trap near my car um, i do have some cages for squirrels so we can definitely do that what we have here is just no zone animal repellent station and I pretty much used this uh, last time for squirrels that kept uh, chewing. Um, uh, basically, they, they ate <laughs> through my uh, roof. Um, um, and, it, and it definitely, it, I would say, it annoyed them. Um, also, I used this when I had my Land Cruiser. Um, they would get inside my, um, there was some sort of rodent that got inside my Land Cruiser. It went through the vents, so I put this through the uh, engine bay, and it, it it pretty much annoyed it um, that it left. And this I uh, previously used uh, because I identified that squirrels were getting along this power wire here to go to my roof. So I pretty much sp sp sprayed this in the gutters. With I definitely left that in there, and whew, I tell you, I think it's like I think somebody at the store told me it's like. Um, wolf pee or something like that um, we're gonna do is spray this along you do not want to get this oil I can tell you that for fact you spray here spray it along there and since I know for a fact that our little friend is underneath here this and we're gonna try to shoot down there where that there's a gap down there good want to go inside the along this side all right so that's good so now we can uh let that do its job I'm gonna uh get up underneath here too and pretty much what we're trying to do is just annoy this little booger that's under here hiding grab one of these put one in the engine bay and then put one in the trunk I would say do this with gloves because so, again, this stuff is strong. Ugh, this is this is this is strong. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to put it somewhere, but I don't want to put it somewhere where it gets wet. Um, what I could do is kind of lift this cover up. Again, my car is, is parked, so um, wherever I put it, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be the end of the world, you know. Put it there for right now. And close the hood. <clears throat> and we're just gonna just toss it in the middle. I got a lot to clean up in there. I want to see if there's a location where I can toss this one like up underneath here but I don't want to hmm where can I put this oh that's the whole cover oh, okay so that's probably where it's at I didn't even notice this thing this whole thing is it's a cover right. so we're gonna have to figure out how to get this to be somewhere put it near the exhaust um right there um because my car is parked um, i'm not moving it so I'm, I'm gonna put that there and we'll see what happens we'll see if that gets moved if it gets moved um it tells me that the pesk moved it so this is the next day i haven't seen our chipmunk outside around my yard or you know coming from underneath the car Still got a mothball. Still got a mothball in there. You can somewhat see it. Um, I still have a mothball in the trunk. And I still have mothballs underneath here. I'm actually going to put some of these power ups, uh, these GIF power ups, and I'm put some on the ground, probably one on the ground underneath the vehicle, and then put some in a cage. Uh, these things are really delicious, um, and the peanut butter, I'm telling you that this peanut butter is real rich, uh, and the smell, it will attract squirrels and chipmunks, trust me. Our trap here, uh, next to my car, behind the car, I previously used these to trap, uh, squirrels that was in my attic. What you want to do, and as you can see, we got, uh, what you want to do is tape off your, uh, trap tape it off uh, because squirrels, rodents, they love privacy, um, which is another reason why we have a chipmunk. Um, it may still be there and it may not be. However, I'm just doing an extra safety precaution. attracting too many things um, such as squirrels but it is what it is Ooh. and I'm attracting bees all right all right so I got my trap here on the ground got some some food underneath the car and majority of the food inside of here probably give it a day day or two no, I'll just give it a day I'm pretty sure something's gonna eat this food I hope it's gonna be the chipmunk I heard something it sounded like a growl or something but all right let's see what we can do uh, that's uh, a squirrel and not the chipmunk um, what I want is to get the attention of the chipmunk but seeing that it's a squirrel right there I'm wondering if the ch chipmunk is afraid of the squirrel. So, I use some of this uh, honey oat cereal. And let's just say I'm gonna relocate that uh, little guy. Up. Oh, yeah, we got something in there. I hear it. So what I'm going to do, put 
this little sucker in my truck and then I'm gonna take it far away so that way you will not be able to do annoying stuff to my vehicles such as chew up stuff underneath there just to make yourself a little comfy home. Moving my car closer to the house and moving a trap closer to underneath my vehicle, which it likes to hide under here. So it pretty much gets underneath that plastic and, you know, lives there, but I got it. All right, it's time to drop the sucker off. Ready to let this bad boy go. Brought it far away from home, but it's in a decent area where there's a good food source, uh, animals, protection. You know, stuff of that nature so that way this little guy can be uh, still in a protective and safe location i don't know if it's a he or she don't know all right come on get out of there there it goes um stuff about woods uh Nuts, food, acorn. There's a lot of good stuff over here for it. 